podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV. After many years of service, the Moorhead Planetarium on the campus of UNC Chapel Hill has removed its iconic centerpiece. Jeff Smith was there and has this story of out with the old and in with the new. The digital era is, is completely different than what we have done with in the past. On August 23rd, 2011, a piece of history became history at the Moorhead Planetarium and Science Center in Chapel Hill. After years of planning, fundraising, and renovations, the planetarium is now ready for the digital age. But to get there, planetarium director Todd Boyette and his staff had to say goodbye to the workhorse that got them through the past 42 years. I like to say it's the, um, the most dedicated employee we've ever had. 42 years, um, showed up every day, um, never sick, um, always on time. Um, and we, we, we cherish it. and. Um, it's had a nice run, but it's a new day. Last night, whenever I was home, uh, I was thinking about how does this really affect me, and it's uh, it, it's that hole is now, you know, a little bit of pin, puts put a pinhole in my heart because um, this was such a reliable coworker. You want to just hook it in the base? Steve Nichols has been the man behind the machine for 26 years. As the chief technician, he has worked to maintain the Zeiss projector well past its lifespan. It's just an impressive piece, um, and it's going to be it's going to be something that that I think people will realize and miss. But in time, it'll it'll wear it'll wear itself out. Zeiss stopped supporting this um, projector over 10 years ago, and so there was no no technical support, and so uh, the technical staff here truly had to find pieces, have pieces made. So it's very different. It's a, a digital, our digital system uh, is pretty standard. Uh, you can find those in, in uh, several hundred planetariums across the country. The theater of the Moorhead Planetarium and Science Center has hosted thousands of school children for years and even was used in training the early astronauts in the NASA program. Now school kids will still get to enjoy learning under the dome, but with new technology. Still, there was something special about that old blue object that was a centerpiece for teaching kids the stars and planets. You also get that, that gleam from the kids' eyes whenever they see that machine in the center of the room. Now we've got a big hole there, and there's going to be a lot of things that people are going to miss. Maybe not the younger kids because they've never seen it, they're not going to realize it, but as we brought in more people to assist us in this, uh, this project, so many of the guys or women would say, I remember back, they do have some memories of what it was like when, it, when they came here as, as a grade school kid. Well, I was one of those children. I, I came in third grade, and that Zeiss projector was the projector that I saw. Um, and it's a wonderful piece of equipment, and th there's nothing better, I think, than it, it, the star field it shows and it displays is incredible. But you're limited to Earth-based astronomy. You're always on Earth looking up at the night sky. But with a digital system, you can explore anywhere. You can go to Mars. You can leave the universe. You can um, climb inside a human cell. Now the star balls have been removed, the support structure disassembled, and the center of the floor is empty. It's almost eerie feeling knowing the symbol of the planetarium has been retired. It's a little bittersweet um, to remove a, 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 an iconic instrument like the uh, like the Zeiss projector. You know, we've used it in many of our marketing pieces. Um, children come and they want to see the giant bug or the big robot. Um, that'll be missing, but uh, what we replace it with is a is a system with. Uh, cutting edge technology with amazing graphics. Um, we still tell wonderful stories. We have more tools to tell those stories now. There's two different types of projector systems now and some are going totally digital which gives a, a, a lot of flexibility, a lot of be, uh, able abilities to uh, uh, create different different kinds of video images and show different types of uh, video, not necessarily just all astronomy. Um, but there is also those um, die-hard planetarium 
astronomy individuals out there and I think I truly think that when they come here that's what they expect. The hope for the blue icon was to go on display at the planetarium or at a museum, but due to its extreme size and weight, there were not any takers. Still, some pieces of the historic projector will be available for the public to see and even own. So we'll put a part of it on display. Um, one of the end caps, the, the star balls, we'll, we'll put on display. Um, we've removed all the lenses. We, uh, we plan to make commemorative pieces out of those lenses. Those lenses are a part of history that, that Zeiss trained astronauts. Um, and uh, so we think it's, it, it, it's an important part of North Carolina's history and we want to share that with as many people as possible. The planetarium closed down temporarily to remove the Zeiss projector and remodel the theater. To check on the progress or for more information, go online to moreheadplanetarium.org. Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV.